Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for difluorine. So here we go. Uh, this is a pretty simple one, just uh, F2. And that's going to give us uh, two fluorines, each with seven valence electrons, for a total of 14 valence electrons. Alright, so we have the two fluorines. We can go ahead and start by single bonding them together and filling in each of the fluorine's octets and if you count them up there's two four six eight ten twelve fourteen electrons that's actually going to be our final structure right there that is it so let's go ahead and check just by calculating the uh, formal charges just to make sure so the formal charge on each of the fluorines is going to be the seven valence brought in minus the single bond on each of the fluorines minus the two four six non-bonding electrons on each fluorine which is going to be equal to zero. Multiply that by two because there are two of them and that's still going to be zero, which is what we need because th this is not a charged compound, all right? It's just difluorine. Um, in terms of shape, because there's, there's only two atoms here, so it's going to be a linear shape, okay? Uh, in terms of hybridization, looking at each or either of the fluorines, there's one, two, three, four electron groups, so that means it's going to need four uh, hybrid orbitals. So sp3 hybrid, because you need one s, three p's for a total of four orbitals for four electron groups. And because these are both fluorines, they're both the same kind of atom, that means that their polarities will cancel out, making this a non-polar compound. All right, so that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know. And thanks for watching.